Hey, 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 what's up, party people? Let's go! Chip has a fucking Honda cast. 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 Fuck yeah! You're doing the, uh, awesome. the what's the, it called? The Vulcan. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing that in September. Let me know how that is. Okay. I think, I hope it's good. Rock and roll all night. Did they go, oh, jeez. And party throughout the day. Ah. Dr. Yuma. I didn't even see that. Rock and roll all night. I saw it was uh, on the email. It said something about a laugh, laughter clinic. clinic. Oh, yeah, yeah that's the subject. For a second. Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right, listen, all kidding aside, we're going to have a few laughs, but we got to clear something up really quick. Oh. Thank you to our new sponsor. Little Valtrex will do that. Oh, well, <laughs> I thought you had to clear something here. up. Much obliged. Much but, obliged. Oh, no, my, it's see-through off of Pete's sake. <laughs> Listen, we all get a little sad once in a while. Even Chipperson. Better help will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start talking to an under 48 hours. A lot of times I would call my Mara and go, Mara, I'm sad. She got shut up. <laughs> so better help will help you get a licensed therapist just someone to talk to as a listener you're going to get 10 percent off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash chip join over a million people who take charge of their mental health because it's very important believe me i live with someone who's always sad and i want to slap norton in the face again <laughs> better help com slash chip Okay, let's get to the fun part now. I mean, I had to really do that because they asked me to, and I'm not even getting any money for it. I just wanted to help. Oh. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> nice background, Jay. Uh, thanks a lot. We're right back to where we belong. <laughs> All right. Whole fucking crew is here to party. I didn't want to say the F word during the fucking read. You know, get myself in trouble. All right, listen. We got fucking Mike Cannon. Apparently the fucking window's open. Uh, Aaron Berg is here. <laughs> get your fucking jacket on. What are you, cold or something? Yeah. <laughs> Who, me? Uh, yup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a sweatshirt. Yeah, I am always cold, though. I'm, I'm a little spindly boy. My mother's always cold, too. She's like, she always has me come over and rub her calves and her eight toes. They get really eight. cold. Yeah, she's got diabetes. She's a marvelous. Is, how many? It, oh, foot? I oh. was going to say four on each or yeah, yeah, five on total. one, three on the other. <laughs> yeah, how are they distributed, Chip? <laughs> it's five and three. Oh, I, was, I thought six and two. No. That would have been odd if she was lucky enough to have six toes on one foot and then, oh boy. Well, yep. Well, here's the greatest part is that Norton's improv uh, couldn't do that kind of math. <laughs> and fucking stupid Jim thought that's the joke he was making. And in my mind, I'm going, nope, five is correct, you fucking idiot. But he fucking did it anyway. God damn it. Chip, it Let's... helps you remember that old saying five of three, half dozen of the other, right? That's fucking absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Fucking five to three, half dozen to the other. Don't treat me like yesterday's tomatoes, you know. Uh, anyway, welcome back to the program, Aaron. And Zia, you look like you're on a video game shoot or something. I am. I'm street oh. fighting, Chip. Oh. Is that what that is, street fighting? Street fighter, yeah. That's cool. I used to box. Really? <laughs> With your pinkies out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, always. <laughs> oh, have you ever broken Dainty a finger, boxing. Chip? <laughs> Well, I've won a lot of fights like this. Yeah. yeah. I was talking to my friend one time and he goes, dude, I'd rather have a lit cigarette than a knife. He was one of those guys. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, I'll just like put it in his eye. And I was like, oh. this guy knows. But you could put a knife in someone's eye, too. I could think of a more damage. Do more damage. Yeah. I probably yeah. should have pointed that out. I didn't think that yeah. a cup of water would not smoke wouldn't... a knife. Yeah, but you you can't beat a knife with a cup of water either. But you can with a cigarette. <laughs> what are you going to do now? <laughs> oh, all right. I see what you're gonna do, you know. That old street game, right? Cigarette, water, scissors. Do you yep. remember that? Cigarette, yeah, water, yeah. scissors. Burn your fucking eye. We'll cut the butt and all of a sudden throw water on it. And then we'll all go home laughing, you know. Anyway, listen, we got a good show ahead, I hope. But it's up to you guys because you are the guests. Mm -hmm. It's always fun, Chip. I always have a great time on the Chip Chipperson podcast. Yeah, you bring yeah. the humor. So, like, really, that's why we're all here. Thanks, I'm babe. Grateful. I'm you grateful look, to be here. You know, Mike, that's the attitude daddy likes. I like a grateful guest. Much bad. <laughs> By the way, uh, that's Southern, Chip, is it? No. 
No, the, the much obliged. Much uh, obliged. Oh, yeah, much obliged. Uh, Chip, you, for... did you get that hat off a spray painted white bicycle on the side of the road? <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, I did in the vest, too. Yes, I did. I had to. There was a like crimson stains on it and oh. I had to wipe them out. I just noticed that cool vest, Chip. Oh. Thanks, babe. I hope you check out the fucking shirt, too. Believe me, somebody's fucked up. Oh, cool. A yep. zooted shirt. That's yep. awesome. That was from the time Chip got zooted on 420. Oh, remember? it was crazy. <laughs> <I know. Right. laughs> smoking, uh, smoking doobies. Fucking cheaping up like it was nobody's business, you know. <laughs> but they are available, the damn shirts, and they're selling like hotcakes. Why do people always say selling like hotcakes? Are they like big sellers or something? I would think. <laughs> so, yeah. There's a whole international house of them. Oh, yeah. That's right. Let's talk about expressions, because I'm going to fucking go crazy tonight. As you can tell, Daddy's had a little coffee. Aaron, what's an expression we can mock? Give me, give me, and I'll riff for 25, 30 minutes. Oh, God. Yeah, an expression we can mock. Uh, uh, better a bird in the hand than two in the bush. It's a bird in the hand. How did you get, how did you get birds in your underpants? Bird in the hand is better than... Clean, too. Two, in the, two in the bush. Yeah, what are you going to fucking, would you have to hold the bird or have two in your cunt? <laughs> no, I don't think Oh, sorry, that. cut that out. Cut, cut that out. Volga. That's vulgar. Uh, yeah. Jane, Jane, no, Jane. Sorry, I was watching the comeback. We can't <laughs> have that. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a saying. What does that mean? It means, uh, you know, if you have something, it's better to use that and enjoy that and, and make uh, a use of it for your life. Better than waiting on something you don't quite have yet. And then putting two in your cunt. There right, you go. and then the two goes in your cunt. No, it's not. It's about because birds, what happens is if you hold the bird, uh -huh. the mother won't take them back in the nest because he smells like a human. So what happens if you got two in a bush, they can talk to each other, play with each other, shelter each other from the rain. Sometimes these are metaphors, Chip. It's not yeah. literal. <laughs> like they mean it's kind of a way to look at life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't hold the bird. Put him down in the bush with his friend. Do you see those two birds almost like two little boys under a stairwell hiding from the rain? Well, let's list something up now. Here, I'm glad you said that. Mikey Cannon, firing cannonballs. I'm oh, glad you shit. Fuck yeah. I ain't the fucking <laughs> cocksucker in this body. Believe me, it ain't me. That ain't, I ain't the fucking cock, sock, cock, sorry, cut out the dirty part. I've closed my eyes and had to tolerate it, but I don't fucking go for it. Oh, fuck. Chip goes to a special place. You damn skippy, I do, babe. I'm on stage rocking and rolling, fucking, <laughs> fucking rock and roll all night and party throughout the day. You know, I'm just fucking. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a good way to keep. Uh, from thinking about what's happening. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> when he finishes, do you feel like you wiping up as the encore oh. when they're chanting you back out? You know, when fucking, yeah, like when all the confetti shoots out, but it shoots out a little stream. <laughs> it's all of a fucking fruit boy the under the porch. The pots on either side of the stage go and off. Just yelling, yeah, yeah. kiss, 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 kiss. Yeah, and kiss, he would. And you he's know. got a kiss, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm, there. I'm just kind of rocking out my own mind while he's fucking smelling what smelled like fucking chlorine and mothballs oh. under some Budweiser shorts. <laughs> fucking little fruit. It's a spitter swallow, Chip. It, oh. At that age, it didn't happen, babe. That's the oh. beautiful thing, but believe me, we all know what he would have done. Here's to you, my lady. Well, two in the bush would be uh, swallows, I gather. Okay, uh, we got... Oh. Chip, All right, got 11 one. minutes down. Okay, 49 to go. Sorry. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. The way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you got to put up with the rain. Oh, that's good. Fuck yeah, because I'm going to tell yeah. you something. Nothing I fucking hate more than when it's fucking raining. And then I'm like, I want to hear uh -huh, on the street of dreams and I can't find my goddamn CD. Richie Blackmore. <laughs> Hell yeah. Somebody, I said, I want to hear on uh -huh, the street of dreams. And they said, after the rain. Right. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Mike, give me an expression. I'm going to fucking run with it. That's only about 30 seconds. Um, shoot for the moon, because even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. Oh, wow. 
Oh. Doesn't make any sense. The stars are farther away. God damn it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she Dave, knows right. her astronomy. <laughs> she damn sure does. That's why I love her so much. It's not the fact that she doesn't wear a bra. She's got a little pixie body. It's the fact that this girl knows astronomy. <laughs> All of your old boy body. That's well, cool. you know. <laughs> astronomy. Yeah. Wait, what's yeah. that mean now? Shoot for the moon, because even if you miss, you're going to hit the stars. That's and right. keep reaching for the stars. That means if you're going to drive your car into a bunch of people, always aim for a fat one. Because if you miss, there's always people behind to barrel into. It. <laughs> That's Skinny right. Ones. Yeah. The big fucking moon. But there'll be a bunch of little fucking orbiting ones behind. Yeah. Her. yeah. Chances are she's hiding a bunch of people behind That's, her. That's what I'm trying to that say. Perfect what sense. type of gun would you use to shoot for the moon, Chip? A gun of inspiration. <laughs> Deep shit. Yeah, man. AR-15. That's what yeah. I would yeah. I like to inspire. I like to inspire. Not to prespire, but to inspire. That's uh, a Dylan Clayball quote. Who's Dylan Clayball? Oh <laughs> he's god. The, <laughs> he's the Columbine kid. <laughs> One of the Columbine. Oh Klebold. Klebold. Oh, he says name wrong. Dylan uh, Clayball. Who is that? Dylan Klebold. Oh, I know. I'm sure. <laughs> Why you I, have to say his name so that yeah. you remember it. Why is your door open? Be careful. That's bad luck. My mother said, Chipperson, if the bedroom door is open, that's bad luck for you and bad luck for Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie is who? Yeah. Well, my mother's friend and the sheriff would always come looking. Sheriff. <laughs> Reggie always, and Lamar. Yeah. Reggie would hide. <laughs> Reggie would hide under the bed and sometimes because he was six foot eight and his feet would stick way out and the sheriff's dogs would bite his toes because he had a warrant. Did he have really big feet, Chip? Yeah, big head, size 13s, babe. And all of a sudden, the dog would drag him out and then start licking Reggie's right hand and fist up to the elbow. And I'd be like, ew. Why why is there gook all over Reggie's fist up to the elbow? God, a dog would lick it and then get sick in the corner. It was fucking horrible. <laughs> you ever see a police dog throw up? It's fucking upsetting. No. Oh, the police kicked the shit out of Reggie and me for good luck, you know. Because that, that arm. counts as assault on the dog. And if you assault a dog officer, that's like assaulting an officer. Yeah. Well, that was what I was oh, trying shit. to tell Reggie because the dog was like licking his arm and then the dog started making that sneeze thing they do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> went and outside he... to eat grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Started scooting for no reason, rubbing his little dog hiney all over the concrete. Now, did they go through the dog's vomit and see if there was any evidence in there? Uh, no, the dog just kind of laid over on his side and began to whimper. They put him in a fucking cage and took him away. And then they broke both of Reggie's feet with a, a baton. Oh, shit. Six it was foot a eight, big time. feet sticking out from underneath the bed. Yeah. He had a warrant passing bad checks. Ah. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> is that really bad luck to leave a door open? This is this is the office technically, but if you think it's really bad luck, I should shut it. Well, what do you got pinned up back there? I like to see a good bulletin board. I always wanted to have a bulletin board when I was a boy. A lot but of I would get one in your house. I just like to make hey, Chip a smile today. <laughs> Chip, you have friends. Yeah, Chipper, they're oh, all gonna no. come to your birthday party. I would put up little notes all over the place, and oh. I'd come, and they would be crumpled oh. on the floor. Oh, <laughs> your your vision board was filled with prospective friends. <laughs> yes, it was. I said I'm gonna be friends with 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 Brian and Frank today. They're gonna be my friends. How'd that, How'd that work, work out? out? <laughs> <laughs> well, it worked out. Brian was my friend. Brian liked me very much. That sounds he, good. Brian. He came over and played, but then Reggie screamed for him to leave. And as he was riding his bike, he was hit by a garbage truck. <laughs> <laughs> Did it, the garbage truck smell better than Reggie's arm? <laughs> <laughs> Chip is going to start having a I whole bunch so. of friends like his pets. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Poor little mug. I miss him, too. He was a good. We were laughing. I said, Aww. I'll catch you later. He goes, not if I'm catch you first, buckaroo. Did yeah. he and die or was it? No, no. But he lost his <laughs> legs and his arms. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Did so they throw him in a be... swimming pool and name him Bob? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, come on. Now. That's cruel. We're we'll cutting that Matt. out. Put him at the front door and call him Matt. Um, oh, the leaves call him Russell. Russell. <laughs> <laughs> Throw him on top of the fucking bed and call him Pillow McGillicuddy. <laughs> That's a good one, Jeff. Thanks, babe. That's a good name. <laughs>
fucking put oh, it out. Uh, put it out in the, yeah, put it out in the fucking yard and call them uh, fucking bricks. <laughs> Toss them in the fire, call them log. Uh, yeah, see, we could riff on this all night. We, that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. 17 minutes in already, boom, flying by. <laughs> what are you drinking? The toilet, call them shit. <laughs> A little bit vulgar, but we're gonna keep it in, Aaron. Uh, no to the producer. Keep that in. That's the signal to keep in. This means take out. That means keep it. <laughs> All right, that's a great one. What else you got, Aunt? You got an expression? Have a glass of wine. I do have a glass of wine. <laughs> yes. How about then? Uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck yeah. What about Adele? He says ironically. <laughs> How about an apple a day keeps the doctor Dre? Fuck yeah. Although I hope after that one it's Kevorkian. <laughs> <laughs> apple a day keeps the doctor away. Sometimes I say, what do I need insurance for? I got to do is buy a bushel of apples. Big bushel of apples. You won't have to go. Yeah, the doctor keeps them away. Yeah, or especially if you, you throw, throw them at him real hard. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh my god, you <laughs> throw them. Put them yeah. in a sock. And Me and Z got the same script for this evening's program. Yeah. Hey, fuck you, Fauci. Yeah, fuck yeah. You throw, apples. <laughs> throw apples at him, and he's like, I can't even get close to this guy. It's like, see, yeah. I keep you away. Keep you away. Crunch. They take it. They give it to the teacher. She likes it. You know. That's a way to social distance, right? You just throw apples at somebody that's within six feet of you. Well, you could have diarrhea and helicopter spin. I've done that a couple of times in Walmart when I forgot my mask. <laughs> a, little, a little ballerina pirouette while fucking diarrhea is flying out your ass. I, I was having a bit of an episode, which is, by the way, <laughs> thank God for BetterHelp.com because I was just, I was diarrhea shitting and spinning in a circle and screaming, nobody loves me. <laughs> Do you have to talk to your therapist about that after, Chip? Uh, yes, I did. After I was thrown in jail for seven days, I was like, I was evaluated. And they said, Chip, is in? you're just a nut. Get out of here. You know? Oh, this was as an adult? <laughs> oh, this is during COVID. <laughs> this, this year? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they said fecal <laughs> matter is an assault. <laughs> did you read that story? This was an old story. It happened in L.A., in downtown L.A., about the woman that the homeless dude in the middle of the street fucking attacked her and diarrhea shit all over oh, her. God. Didn't he throw it On in a her. cup or something? God. Didn't he throw it out of a cup? Oh, you're right. He might have thrown it out of, out of a cup chip. You're right. You know how <laughs> you I know remember that? Because I fucking, I encouraged that guy. I was, I remember that. And he's like, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm like, what are you fucking afraid to do it in a cup or something? And he goes, what oh. am I going to do with it? I'm like, she's got great tits. And he goes, all right. <laughs> Peer pressure. Nice, yeah, Chip. Fucking fell for it, you know. And then he, he, he didn't know what he was doing. He's like, ah, a fucking bird told me to do it. You know, I stood over there and flew away. Oh, says, God. Yeah. It's like, it's like uh, icing two big bunt cakes. <laughs> Just fucking. You remember that, that old saying? Chip, always what's, that? Keep, what's that, AB? Always keep a clean pair of underwear in your car in case you're in an accident. That's right. My mother used to say to me, always keep that. I would always say, but Ma, why is that? And she would say, just put a clean pair in your pocket. And then sometimes I would just kind of wake up. I wouldn't be sure what happened. And I remember I was coming home from school. My uncle was giving me a ride. And the next thing you know, I got my clean undies on and I see the other ones piled up in the hotel room corner with a bunch of crimson gunk in the back. <laughs> I said, what happened? He said, there ah, you fell. Mind oh. your P's and Q's, Lyle. Oh, he probably had a bloody nose, no tissues. He sure did. And blood under his fingernails on the front of his zipper. I'm like, God damn, are you OK, uncle? Yeah, yeah. We had an accident. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> how it, I don't understand how that works. What are you supposed to get into the accident and then change into new underwear at well, the scene of the accident? If you're that injured where your underwear matter that you're going to the hospital, then you probably can't change into new underwear i don't get this at all and and they're in your pocket so if you piss you're gonna piss through your pocket right or if you're bleeding on there or something yeah well bleeding. if you guys want to you guys want to just fucking have some good times or do you want the real answer i'll give you the real one <laughs> i would like the real answer yeah. Sorry. Sorry. okay well i was on a date one time with a young lady i had a spare <laughs> pair of fucking bikini underpants i would always hang them from the rear view mirror just in case Sexy. of an accident one time we were fucking we were joking around i just kept flicking a nipple really hard and i rear-ended a truck so <laughs> <laughs> fucking rear-ended a truck, right? Yeah. So we're laying there, right? And I got fucking crazy. I'm like, ah, fuck. 
fucking shit all down the back of my leg. <laughs> and I said, thank God I got a pair of fucking underwear. Right. So I fucking because the car had tipped over. So I climb up out the top and I'm dabbing myself off with a towel. She's screaming, help, help, <laughs> I'm fucking drying myself off. And I was going to go in there and fucking and, and get the uh, the seatbelt and help her out. But I got distracted. I put the new underpants on. I'm like, I feel fresh. And then I looked in the car and she was burning. And I'm like, I better get away from here. I'm going to hurt my hands, you know. So unfortunately, she didn't make it. But that's oh, how the new underwear wow. gets put on. Oh, they're one of Chip's friends, guys. It's happening. Well, it was, it was a date, babe. It was nice. Oh. We went out to a Fuddruckers. We were laughing. I was making fun of the guy's buttons. I'm like, nice buttons. You know, she went crazy. Oh, that must have been some shit that you had when you had that yeah. accident. It now, really was. Yep. Fuddruckers. Fries, a BLT, a fucking oh, a tuna melt, and nine beers. Oh, oh, oh. Why the tuna melt? <laughs> Oh, I just wow. love a tuna melt, babe, but I don't eat the crust. I scrape around the tuna melt. Uh, I do that in front of her just the, to show her how accident, I lick it. Did the accident investigator have to measure two sets of skid marks? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he had a, gets that wheel on a stick. And <laughs> I know he had to measure the skid marks in the street and the ones in my shorts, you know. That's, yeah, that's kind of what I was kidding. Nah, but I left. I called in the car. Fucking, <laughs> I called it in stolen. And uh, I left. She, what was she going to say? You she was fucking it cold. It cold. Oh, yeah. What was she going to say? She was fucking. She couldn't talk. She's like, I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm like, trust me, you're not. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, Chip's background was uh, photographed that evening. <laughs> you can kind of see her Fuck yeah. face in the background if you look closely. Thank God it's not the video. You know, hey, don't leave me here. I was like, hey, whatever, <laughs> baby. You know, like, I called it in and they arrested one of the neighborhood kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that's the guy that did it. What's that? Is he still in jail? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A long time. <laughs> that's some confession. Nah, that's, I'm going to cut this. I'm just telling you because you're my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're my friend. <laughs> so, Mike Cannon, right. tell me what's going yeah. on. Are you still at your in-laws? That's a fucking regal painting. That's Thank really you, nice. Pal. Is that the Salvatore Mundi? <laughs> no, it's uh, <laughs> Gustav Klimt. Oh. What's and Klimt? It's a, it's a tit, and I think she might be squirting or pissing Goof, or Gustav something. Gustav Klimt, like it looks like. <laughs> <Sexy>. <laughs> that is sexy, right, babe? You can see a little nipple. Z is a little dirty one. Once in a while, like, I'll fucking give her a call at 3 o'clock in the morning. Like, what are you doing? Sure, you she know. loves that. Yeah, she has not love seeing that on the fucking, oh, <laughs> yeah. fuck, it's Chip. Chip, yeah, I'm like, he babe. Talk. Yeah, he wants to get a little fucking frisky. I'm like, babe, I know you're married, but I ate some rum raisin ice cream. What the fuck are you doing over? Raisin ice cream drunk dialing. Oh. I get oh, fucked up, babe. God. The rum gets you, though. It's amazing. You don't think that that rum's going to hit you. It's like when they put uh, liqueur in uh, chocolates. Does that get you drunk? I, I can't even tell. I was at a wedding one time. And I'm having a nice time. I'm like, I'm not going to drink tonight. I'm just going to behave. And a little couple of chocolates. Let me treat myself to a couple of chocolates. And the next thing you know, three groomsmen are grabbing me, shaking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what did you do? Apparently, I had taken a chair. I thought a grandmother disrespected me. And I took a chair and I cracked the old broad across the back of her head, knocked the fucking wig off. <laughs> It's not WWE. <laughs> That's what I thought, babe. I was waiting to hear the clang. I threw my arms up like that. She's bleeding on the floor. Thank God oh. she's okay. <laughs> Only attempt murder, you know. Wow, that could be one of the worst things you could do at a wedding. Oh, uh, I felt so guilty about it, but I ate one of them chocolates. The next thing you know, the grooms, all I remember is the grooms been going, you let it go. What are you doing? I'm like, oh. just oh. one chocolate? Yeah, uh, yeah, but babe, believe me, it was like yo big. <laughs> That's yeah, I filed a lawsuit there. against the couple. I'm suing them. Who's, <laughs> whose wedding was that, Chip? That was my neighbor, Susie May. Susie May, I grew up with Susie May. And uh, her and her buddy used to hold me down and think of my backside and tell people <laughs> I was a queer. <laughs> so you wanted to see them off? Yeah. I said, I'm going to show you. It didn't bother me. I was like Jim Croce, an operator. I'm going to show them I'm okay. My best old ex-friend Ray is fucking my girl in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, That's help me make good, this call. Good song. You know what? But it's no good anymore because they're so much more expensive. Yeah, operator. At the end, he says, you can keep the dime. Oh, the dime. Well, no one even uses pay phones anymore. That's what I say whenever it comes on the radio. I'm like, thy cell phone. 
Maybe you should have said, operator, can you get me a booking agent for, for a fucking airline that's legitimate? Yeah. Maybe that's what he should have yeah. done. Operator, can you book me a ride to that tree? <laughs> <laughs> was he the one that hit the only tree around for miles? It was literally, there was, there's more trees on Mars than there were in that fucking area. <laughs> and this asshole hit it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this fucking stunad. Oh, uh, what an idiot. What a fucking ass. Took that, one of the great musicians before he was even famous. That was before that album came out. And uh, it was such a huge hit in the 70s. I didn't know that because I know that Doc of the Bay he did. And then all of a oh. sudden he died I, and he never got no, to sing no, it live. No, that was Otis Redding did Doc of the Bay. Yeah, yeah, Redding Railroad. Fashion. <laughs> right, Redding <laughs> Railroad. Do you, what about Otis B&O? Oh, yeah, they well, smell... Otis uh, Pennsylvania Avenue and Marvin uh, Gardens. Otis. Allentown. Pennsylvania. Oh, wait, Otis uh, from uh, oh, Superman. Redding. Otis. What is purpling? It's the other railroad. Fuck yeah, pur <laughs> Hold on, there's B and O. There's fucking Pennsylvania. There's fucking uh, Redding. Yeah. B oh, I know the other one. Okay. Oh, could you help me out? Otis Redding and the Pips. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't right. There's but someone that knows his Motown. Fuck yeah. A homo town. Come on, that's not polite, <laughs> but God damn it, it was a good one. Join in. Uh, isn't that funny? You listen to that song, Love Train Now, and it's like, oh, so much got solved. <laughs> I don't no know. No one what. got on that train. No one. <laughs> Is that the love train to Georgia? No, it's the people all over the world, everybody join in, start a love train. And then they go like, all of the brothers all in Africa, tell all the folks in Egypt and Israel to. And it's like you, everything he mentions is still all fucked up. But whenever I would hear that song, <laughs> I would just yell, choo, choo. Uh, <laughs> once like you get making... on the love plane, you'll get there faster. Yeah, right, with a love boat, and you can have fucking Gavin McCloud eat your asshole in the bathroom. <laughs> He was uh, he was famous for that, you know. That's why. They, oh yeah. <laughs> ass eater guy. Oh, believe me, there was a lawsuit. Arve Belichez did one episode. He goes, "You're trying to eat my ass." He fucking <laughs> put him in the bathroom during a break and ate his asshole. Fucking. Oh, that was a whole thing. Ricardo Montalban called his lawyer. Got fucking crazy. <laughs> Uh, he, the yeah, asshole! The asshole! <laughs> it, was, it was supposed to be an honor to dine at the captain's table, but then he would <laughs> lay you out on it. Eat your ass. Oh, He's yeah. Dining on uh, you. <laughs> He's dining on you, babe. He took him into the bathroom. Harvey <laughs> said, Harvey had a little drink, went to the bathroom. Next thing you know, Gavin fucking closes the door, puts him up against the mirror, holds him, and just fucking makes the yummy noise <laughs> in his ass. <laughs> Poor I, like, I like and to he's... lick the plate clean. Yeah. <laughs> he's, oh. And he's defenseless because he's just a little guy. Ah, uh, yeah, he tore his little white <laughs> suit pants down. Fucking Hervey kicked him in the chin. They countersued him. <laughs> you could hold both hands with one. <laughs> it was, he did. That's what he did. Hold him up like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like holding up a chicken. Yeah, he just kind of put each leg between these fingers. <laughs> hold up little Hervey. So Mike Cannon firing on all cylinders. What's been going on with you, my friend? Uh, me, uh, not not much, man. Just the uh, comedy clubs open back up, so I'm doing some sets around town. Which doing comedy clubs? Doing comedy clubs. I know you're uh, you're waiting for arenas, right? Yeah, I'm going right into them. Yeah, I'm already booked. They got me in a fucking couple of places. I ain't allowed to say yet. Oh, nice. Okay. You you confessed to a murder. Pretty much. <laughs> no, I didn't. And, and well, you said something about a girl in a car burning to death. Yet, the car yet got stolen. Yet you can't tell us what fucking venues you're going to be playing. Yeah, because I'm under contract and whatnot. A promise I made, like okay. a promise and whatnot. Oh, okay. I but said, you can right. cut it out. Just are tell they, us we're friends. Are oh, they aware yeah, of yeah. Your checkered past. What's that? I, I, uh, uh, I was gonna do something about check. I'll do it again. It was. Are they aware of your checkered? King me. <laughs> it's all about the timing. <laughs> it's just all about it. There it is. Chinese checkers. It's like checkers. Oh. These ones give the world a disease. <laughs> Here's why I didn't like Chinese checkers. 
because I would take them and just throw them in my mouth like they were candies. They were the little round things. Yeah. They did thinking, look delicious. Oh, they were, but they hurt coming out. Believe me. <laughs> <laughs> like a Gatling gun. Yeah, my mother would listen. She had to hear eight pings against the porcelain. <laughs> ben Wobbles with no string. <laughs> my mother you had a pair of them. I was like, what are those for, Ma? She goes, oh, chipping a Star Wars toys. And then she got mad when I put them over my eyes like glasses. Oh, did you get pink eye after that, Chip? <laughs> yes, I did. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I did. And I tried oh. to put something up my nose, too. She goes, oh, chip, I don't do that. I'm like, Ma, it smells like cat toys. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around with a couple of fucking like Captain Queeg with tuna hand. <laughs> Listen, now yeah. in a second, as you know, on this program, we really do. We talk a lot. We have a lot of laughs, but sometimes, babe, you know, we got to get serious and yep. we got to pay the bills. We got and, and, and this is a good way to do it, too, because it's also helping people, Chip. What's that? Oh, look at that timing. You're so smooth. Thanks, babe. Oh, I hit that one. I didn't mean to. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So better help is great, especially during a pandemic, because you don't have to go anywhere. You can do televisit. What do you okay. mean, babe? I'm confused. Explain. <laughs> so they assess your needs and they match you with your own licensed uh, professional therapist and you connect online. So you can do it on your computer or on your phone. You don't even but, have to go into an office. But I don't like going to an office because you ever sit next to someone in a therapist's office? Oh. It's like, how you doing? You look crazy. I am. And he's eating a booger with a spoon. <laughs> like, I don't want to be by this guy. Well, you don't have you chip you can stay home and do it that's what i like privacy mm -hmm. it's not a help it's not a it's not a helpline it just hooks you up with a therapist right babe go ahead talk me through it it is and it's very personalized so i've actually used better help before chip and it's great it's super personalized oh. you tell them what you're what you're looking for and they match you with a therapist that's best for you what if i just call up like let's say mike talk to me about something you're sad about me just yeah what are you sad <clears throat> about Oh, yeah, you know, we know the career and all that, but something else. <laughs> oh, shit. You know, Chip, I, I'm not very nice to myself. I sometimes uh, I sometimes say mean things to myself. Oh, and so you might terrible. go, what am I going to do about that? That's now, right. you don't need an immediate helpline because you're not standing on a ledge looking down like the guy in Lethal Weapon. Going, ah, I'm going to jump. And then Mel Gibson comes out and cuffs you. And uh, that's not what's going to happen. But you want someone you could talk it over with. Babe, they're going to hook you up with someone at gethelp.com. Am I right or wrong? No, you are. You're absolutely right. They uh, you send a message to your counselor anytime too, and you'll get timely and thoughtful responses and you schedule weekly phone or video sessions. OK, so you can actually talk to the guy. Mike could shoot mm -hmm. off a thing. Go, hey, Mike Cannon, how you doing? I'm firing on all cylinders. But I say kind of mean stuff to myself and he'll read it and go, all right, Mike Cannon firing on all cylinders. Let me write you back a response. Right or wrong, babe. Absolutely right, Chip. If you need a checkup from the neck up, Chip. <laughs> that rhymes. You didn't even know what you just said. Check up I from the no neck idea. up. Sometimes Amen. The just comes out when you're riffing. I got to sometimes go to a doctor to take care of this. Important. That's it right, is. babe. It's important. Mental health is very important. I used to run around just screaming in the neighborhood at two o'clock in the morning, banging <laughs> pots and pans. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why were you doing that, Chip? I just wanted someone to like me. And my mother would always come out and go, shit, but give me the pan. And then she'd crack it across my teeth. So I said, let me talk to somebody. Yeah. Betterhelp.com. They just yeah. talk to me. Talk to somebody. Yeah. You ever get lonely yet? No. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that is true. That's like saying, so, Ted Kaczynski, you ever wish there was people around? <laughs> no, fine like this. You're a rare breed of robot and alcoholic. <laughs> Here's my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens, babe? Oh. Give us a little bit more because we want to do justice for these people who are supporting Chipperson. So you can get a licensed professional that specializes in depression, stress, anxiety, relationships. Oh, I don't care if he having... drives, babe. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no. What? Um, no, uh, relationships. If, if you're having relationship issues, that's something you can talk about, too. Are you having any that you might need to talk? Because I'm a, <laughs> like, babe, I'll be honest. Sure, you can go to betterhelp.com. But if, uh, for me and you, like if you ever need to talk, 
Chip, oh, I know. Oh. I know. You, I, I talked to you about my young, relationship issues, so, but, you know. I like your young Jim Norton impression. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really great. Oh, this young you Jim need Norton. to talk, man. Blink, 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 blink. He's no good for you. Blink, 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 blink. blink. Nervous, dry chap lips. Blink, blink. I could show you what a friendship is. Blink, 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 blink. Oh. And then she's like nice this on, on one of the other guys in school. <laughs> oh, yeah, terrible. betterhelp.com would have been great for a young Jim Norton, but there were no computers back then, babe. No. Right back to it. Talk to daddy. Tell me some more. Uh, <sighs> you can work through anger, trauma, family conflicts, LGBTQ matters, grief, self-esteem, Mike. That's one of the things that you can. Oh, that's right. Perfect Not, for that. <laughs> I forgot I told you about that. I thought yeah, you but you see, don't you feel better just talking to a friend? I'm just, just shitting on Mike. To... I'm like, Mike, see? <laughs> but I would say this. Like, let's just say I called up and I go, I don't know why people don't like me. Uh-huh. <laughs> they would be able to walk you through that. They would be able to help you with that. And you could you could work. You could work through any of those issues. That'd and it's nice. great. It's great, too, because you don't have to limit yourself to just therapists that are in your area because it's over the phone or on the computer. You can talk to a therapist oh. anywhere. Wait a minute. So it doesn't have to be the 212 area code, babe. This gets nope. better by the second. Right? <laughs> this is the best, Chip. Like, I didn't know Thailand, that. Thailand, you could get a therapist from Thailand or Cambodia. Well, are they only United States? Anthony asks a very good question. I question, do. Question. He says, question. Chip, is where'd you learn to talk in crazy town? Uh, <laughs> let me ask you something, babe. Is it only in the U.S. or doesn't it say? Cut this you know part what? out. I'm yeah. actually not sure, ah! uh, but when I did it, I don't know. The, the therapist that I was talking to had quite a thick accent, but I don't know if he was living in America now. I never oh. asked. Okay. So, so how do people get a hold of it, babe? Let's let's talk turkey. I don't mean the goblin type, you nut. Oh, no, it says here it is. I'm sorry. It's it's down a little bit. Uh, they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states. So I'm going to go. Oh, ahead and assume it's, so it yeah. is international. So they need more therapists. Chip, I could do it. Yeah. I would be really good. Call Can I up. request you. What's that? Hold on. Oh, look at that little. Oh, Aww. hello there. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm Chipperson. Say, what Hope you're doing, doing good in school. I got all A's and B's. <laughs> I don't think you How you doing? doing? Oh. Oh, now. How do? What? <laughs> Hope you behave yourself and eat all your vegetables. I was a big fan of lima beans when I was your age. Well, I thought you were a cucumber guy. <laughs> no, I, well, that was when I got older. I like <laughs> lima beans. He liked lima beans. <laughs> Remember, throw, you, throw all your ice cream out and eat lima beans. Oh. <laughs> How do? What's your name? Say her name was Chip. Have you taught her to talk? (laughs) No, you know what it is? She's giving me the cold shoulder. I understand. She's going, I'm not getting paid to talk to this idiot, so I'm not going (laughs) to talk to this idiot. This isn't going to help me get him on my podcast. I understand. Always throw out your ice cream and eat your lima beans. That's what I tell kids. But listen, all kidding aside. Oh, now. Careful, Aaron. She's behind you. Careful. Hand your wallet over. Because All right, listen. Rear naked choke. Yeah, wouldn't that be great if he got choked out? I'd be like, choked yeah. out by his daughter. That would be hilarious. Oh, you know her. Oh, thank. I was so <laughs> nervous. I thought it was a home invasion. I was trying to play it cool. Like All it's right, a cool. two-headed monster. I was like, oh my god, there's an adorable person growing out of his shoulder, and then there's just him. <laughs> All right, babe. Let's do the let's do the end of this real quick because I want these people. Oh, no. oh, that's it. Oh, that's the out. best. And right now Thank she can God. call betterhelp.com and go, I don't know why, but I just like choking my dad. Oh, <laughs> there is he passed away. Kicked out no. the plug or something. <laughs> wow. All right, babe. Listen, hopefully Aaron will be back soon. What is the uh let's let's read let's read the slug line at the end because I really want to give these people the proper plug. Hold and, on a minute, babe. Don't and, yell at me. Oh, sorry. Go Whenever ahead. you're ready. Ready? Uh, yeah, okay. Right. Uh, Chip wants you to start living a happier life today. As a yep. listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by, by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash chip. Uh, join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, uh, dot com slash chip, and you'll get 10% off. Seriously, because what we need is all you little Chipasonians to be happy. Chipersonians. Are you trying to fly with that whole thing? <laughs> Chippersonians. What's that? You're trying to run with the Chippersonians as like a, a thing? I think it's a great idea because this way all the Chippersonians will call up better help. Where'd Aaron go? Is he okay? Aaron, are you okay? You hurt? You should start a museum, Chip. 
the Chippersonian Museum. Uh, the Chippersonian <laughs> Institute. They'll yes. put in a bunch of like uh, funny bones and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a big dinosaur made of funny bones. Oh, You'll yeah. laugh at it. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus yucks. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Zoot it. Don't be shy. Chip Chipperson.com. Babe, yours is coming. <gasps> I have I get a zooted shirt. No, no, that was I meant for Aaron. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. No, I can't see him. He knew Wherever I remember he went. Yeah. <laughs> Hope he's not dead. Hope she didn't choke him out. She looked like she really had him all kid to the side. <laughs> Maybe he felt compelled to bench some weights. Yeah. Yeah, that's what like I do weak. once in a while. Like at sick. any moment he could just lift something. Yeah. Have you ever like known those guys that just oh, yeah. that will bust down and start doing push ups? Just start oh push ups in the middle yeah. of anywhere. Just, uh, uh. My oh, dad used just... to do that before fights. Like when he oh, would get no. into fights. But it was over one of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> when when dinner was cold, he got into a fight. <laughs> He'd get a good pop. Yeah, start yeah. Mom would get a little nervous. She'd put a little pee in her uh, little pad <laughs> when uh, he started doing push ups. She knew that right hook was coming. Oh, yeah. If, believe me, all of a sudden, the meat loaf is cold and all of a sudden the, the clap push-ups and she's like, oh, it's gonna be a, a hole going in he's, the wall he's doing one arm push-ups he's punching her with the other arm it's she, fucking... knew she, she wasn't gonna be able to go in public for a good month after that <laughs> burpees be like ike be turner bad. ike turner and hit her in the in the midsection with a phone book is that oh, what he would or... do yeah because he didn't want her bruised up yeah, or anything bruise. in face. phone books yeah. hide the bruises it would or... hurt because it, it distributes the the uh, impact over a larger area. Yeah. I'll tell you the mathematical genius it takes to figure that out while you're angry at somebody. Right? Yeah, yeah. He was still thinking role. about this bitch got to be on stage next week. He knew damn well he couldn't fuck her face up. Yep. Can but you I don't know what happened. Soft Valencia oranges. Isn't that another one? <laughs> what? Wait, wait, babe, hold on. What do you say? Little oranges? What? What? What type? <laughs> No, regular size oranges. <laughs> Valencia oranges, yeah. In a oh, bag. Really? Yeah, I think those don't leave bruises too. Oh, God, a big bag of oranges. <laughs> yeah. If you hit them, though, in, with that net bag, though, it'll leave the net <laughs> mark on you. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Trust me. <laughs> you want to make sure that they don't drive off too quick before you sell them to them. <laughs> yeah. You raise a good point, but it's funny. Yeah. I had that happen one time. Well, I forget what it was, uh, but Jose, his name was Jose Berra. He was my ma's friend for a little while. He had a bag of oranges and he got really mad at me because he used to cut his toenails off and leave them on the kitchen table. Oh, and I didn't know what they were. So I'm snacking and he oh, was, come uh, on. I didn't know he was going to go home and do some kind of a ritual. I didn't know what it was. So I'm there snacking away and he's like, you ate my potion. And the next thing you know, he's got a fucking <laughs> bag of orange uh, oranges and he starts striking me with them. And I come through in a hospital. It turns out there were orange pool balls in the netted bag. We didn't oh, know. Wow. <laughs> Broke both my cheekbones. Those don't have quite as much give as a regular uh, Florida <laughs> orange. Why did he have a bag of six ball? I, you know, it's very. Oh, wow, that's good. Unless you have a pool table in front of you. That's really good, Mike. Yeah. But how do we know it's the six? Babe, look it up. All right. Yeah, I don't you got know it, if it is. Oh, I just said I bet the confidence. three ball is orange. Why do you yeah. say that? I think it is. Why do you say know. that? Because I, because there's odds are. What's that, babe? Well, I didn't say nothing. What, what, what's an orange ball? It's a, it's like a blue ball, but it's orange. <laughs> I Six. Think it's five. Now there's only one for, for rack. The hustler. What is it? I think it's five. I think five is orange. Oh, hold on a second. Oh no, it. this show would be different. Yeah, no, it looks like five is orange in multiple photos. Five is orange. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. The 22 ball is orange. 22 ball. That's a big You rack. know what else was orange, Chip? That woman you left to burn in the car. <laughs> I know. Hold on a minute. Now, this isn't fair. I got to defend myself. I jumped out, was changing my underpants. By the time I realized something was askew, the police were coming. And I'm like, I got to make a phone call. So I reached in. I took out my lover boy tape and I just took off. <laughs> you saved the tape in nine Oh, eight? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, and she she wasn't uh, orange by the time you left. She was more soot color. She was just making real weird. I'm cold. I'm cold. 
It's weird. She was cold when there was a fire. Happening. That's what I kind of thought of as I was running away. But thank God I got the tape. That was Lover Boy was it, live was at the, the Hammersmith Odeon. What's was that? It the tape with the uh, I got to do it my way or no way at all on it. No, it was just them doing live at the Hammersmith Odeon. And what happened was the, it got a little bit melted. So all I had was love a boy. <laughs> <laughs> I was never able to enjoy it again. Saved it for no reason. Yeah, that's what I kind of uh, thought to myself. Burn my knuckles and everything, babe. Not worth getting concerned about. You were driving her car? Yeah. Yeah, and I was, and I had a lover boy tape. She was listening to some help, self-help like stuff. How did I just took it? I fucking threw it out the window. I'm like, bunk, bunk. I screamed bunk at it for like a half hour. And uh, I got spit on the inside of the window, put in my lover boy tape. We were fucking rocking. Now, it would have happened differently if that accident happened now because you would have been able to stream that album on your uh, phone. You true. wouldn't yeah, have had yeah. to go back in to get that. You could have saved, what was her name? Uh... <laughs> I should really say her name, Julie. Okay. I don't want to say her name. In a different world. If Julie. You pulled Judy out of that burning. Uh, Julie. Judy's fine. No, Julie yeah. died. <laughs> My date is hot tonight. Whoa. <laughs> so, so hot, hot tonight. Yeah. yeah. Where song. will the neighborhood kid be tomorrow? <laughs> in jail. We'll go uh, jail. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Don't, uh, don't stop getting, nah. Uh, what's fire songs? Don't stop being flammable. Oh. Everybody's yeah. burning for the <laughs> weekend. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait, how about this? A little blue eyes to cold. I'm burning up. Oh, there you go. Burning, I would have been burning you. for you, Chip. Burning yeah. for Chip. <laughs> burning for daddy. <laughs> <laughs> was that the hottest day you ever had, Chip? <laughs> no, nah, I've had hotter, believe me. Oh, I see. I <laughs> no, I've had a lot hotter. Like a four alarm fire that day. Oh, uh, dude, yeah. I ran home. My fucking pecker was rock hard. I was so angry. <laughs> I was mad as a mug. What'd you do after that? Wow. I fucking tugged it until the skin almost came off. <laughs> like, 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 like her at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I fucking hocked a loogie into my hand. I had like a good fucking um, a lactose mucus loogie. Hogged it into my fucking hand and tugged. Oh, God <laughs> damn! What would like to hear? I spit my lactose loogie. And uh, oh, it was <laughs> awful. I drank a Disgusting. half gallon of half and half because I was nervous. Oh. And the next thing you know, <laughs> <laughs> oh Christ! It had volume to it. You fucking. You Wake up in last. the morning and your dick smells like a dumpster. <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> yep. Believe me, it smelled like Fuddruckers treats the whole room. I woke up, the fucking cat was staring at it with the ears back. I was like, relax, it's not an enemy. <laughs> good, thing uh, a good thing a police dog didn't uh, come. That's right. Oh, I told you about what happened with Reggie's arm, we, right? Uh, we was, heard about that. Oh, it was crazy as a mother. I have a fleeting memory of that story. <laughs> a fleeting? Wait, what are you in the Navy or something? What are you, ah, got an enema or something? Fuck yeah. Thanks a lot, bud. Zooted. Good one. Fucking chip. Zooted. Uh, you know who's funny? U.S.S. Oh, I thought you were just, I thought you were fucking making a statement to Anthony. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to hear. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but you know what we got to do that because times are crazy oh. and everybody knows that they are crazy. We must not be lazy. I will not sit for this. <laughs> well, well, well. I will not sit for I slam feel poetry. A poem coming. Well, well, well. We do drink from the well of prosperity, or is it severity? <laughs> <laughs> we seek liberty and justice for some, but we are the sum of our parts. But are our parts broken? I fucking can't. <laughs> I can't. It's legitimately this is good. Infuriating. <laughs> yes, it's because it's exactly like the douchebags that do this. Dreams it are broken. How, how easy and it is. Dreams are broken and dreams are shattered with guns. Our dreams are rattled. -tat -tat <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> you try to find justice, and all you find is justice. No, it's just <laughs> us. That's are we one? Are we? Just is. 
Are we one nation or a vaccination? Pack the court to make it supreme. Do we call Diana Ross because she is supreme? (laughs) No, not that kind of court, but Lady Justice will test her. But if we are in court, then call me your jester. (laughs) Oh, fuck, no. Jester Murray. No, this is actually like people would be like, oh my God, it's brilliant. That's how fucking bad slam poetry is. What was your least favorite line, Comey? Don't be shy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, hi, this is the Chip Chipperson show. <laughs> All downhill from there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, we got to reset. Daddy almost spit out his papaya juice. Bad. All right, back. Papaya juice? Yeah, I like papaya juice. My Uncle P got me drinking it. Uncle P? <laughs> Yeah, Uncle Paul loves papaya oh, juice. Uncle Paul, papaya juice. I would have yeah. thought he would have given you prune juice, you know, before he came over to visit. No, he gave me papaya juice. The next thing you know, I was like, this good. <laughs> Made me oh. sleepy as a mug. Oh, oh okay. okay. They like, say um, uh, juices sometimes tend to sweeten your pleasure juice. Did you experience that with papaya juice? Oh, yeah, your cum oh, tastes right. better. Pineapple. Ew. Oh. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Mine tastes like an oil refinery. <laughs> <laughs> Your cum Sorry, has this, yeah, it's the fucking <laughs> consistency of sludge and it's salty like tears. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, Mike, why are you wearing like a sweat jacket? I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I don't know. Wait. It's Gore-Tex. Yeah. Barstool sports. No, this is it's just, awesome. this is just a hoodie. Oh, yeah, I got it for free. A hoodie it looks <laughs> quilted or something. Doesn't it look quite? Oh, I thought it was it? a regular coat, Ann. I said, what's he doing? Yeah, Going it looks for like, like a, a coat. A coat oh, town no, or no. something? It's just a, just a regular. Oh, it's camo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's camo. Just it a regular made it, hoodie. It looked like it had like, uh, you know, like button tuck thing or something. <laughs> kind of fucking, yeah. Like quilted. Northern oh, you Manhattan. thought I was wearing an actual coat. Yes. Yes, oh. Mike Cannon. Jeez. I was going to say, I, th- I, th- I can only see Mike Cannon's floating head. That's right. Camouflage. I didn't know where you were. I said, where's Mike's body? Look you should have worn your... What's that, buddy? Look at these. You don't even oh, see them, do you? Those are camouflage, too. Who knew? Fuck <laughs> yeah. They hide your ears. Those are Just... for when you're raping in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear the screams. Yes. <laughs> or you can put on your favorite tune, like Baby Driver. I like to rock out while I'm doing stuff, you know? Fucking yeah. rock and roll all night and party throughout the day. I don't know if that's the line, Chip. Yeah, yeah, baby. It is oh, trust. It is? Okay. Trust me. Chip, what's your, what's your dream getaway car? Like Fucking baby rocket driver. ship. <laughs> He's shooting for the moon. <laughs> Mercedes the moon, rocket ship. Land among the stars. <laughs> yeah, Mercedes, babe. Rocket ship. A Mercedes <laughs> rocket. Yeah, uh, Elon Tesla. Uh, Elon. Elon Te- <laughs> Hold on. Who? <laughs> Jeff, let, know, me do one. let me do one Henry Ford <laughs> <laughs> Yeah fucking um, Bob Kraft Fucking <laughs> Let's see, no, that, but... Teddy fucking Teddy Jones Chrysler Elon Musk put a Tesla in space. It's floating around out there right now with a, a guy uh, at the wheel. He put a, a space suit at the wheel and everything. And it's yeah. up there in space. So it's not out of the question that you could uh, somehow maybe get up there with a car, Chip. And the funny part is he's had his directional on for millennia. Uh- <laughs> Imagine trying to find a gas station up there. Uh, Good crazy. luck. Good luck, says Chipper. Crazy. Dude, those lights behind. I pulled him over and said, where are you going? He goes, I'm going to visit my son. <laughs> yeah, and then he's hey, like, Jim, Jim. This- yo, what's up? Where, where are you going? I'm going to visit Uranus. Ah, shit. There you go. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Fuck yeah. Or, or where are you going? Disneyland to see Pluto. <laughs> That's a good one too, Chip. Yup. Or you could say, I'm going to Saturn. Or you could say I'm going to Mercury because it's in retrograde. That was very good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't understand it, babe. Explain that mon- monumental bomb. What was that? 
<laughs> you know, when Mercury's in retrograde, I don't know. It's one of those Zodiac things or something. You know how they always, all those girls always say, oh, Mercury's in retrograde. That's why bad stuff's happening. I didn't know that because I know that I'm a <laughs> fucking cancer on the Leo cusp. Oh, you're, you're definitely a cancer. Come on, that ain't nice. That's getting cut out. No disease jokes on this program. God damn, I like your little long sleeve shirt. See, what kind of underpants do you have on? Don't answer that. It's not my business. Not my beeswax. Not wearing underpants, Chip. Oh my I'm wearing pants, God. but not underpants under it. That's awesome. Me too. That's awesome. You don't need two layers. I don't understand underwear. Like yeah. you're already wearing pants. What do you need another layer for? That's gonna just go Why up your ass. Why would it's not you good. need a what? pants under your pants? I understand that if you're, if you're not wearing like denim, you know, but you have yeah. like an open wound to protect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them. It cleans itself That's... out. Don't worry about it. <laughs> what a sexy way to put it, Mike. I'll <laughs> tell you why you should wear underwear, Zia. My mother, she was known because of a tough childbirth. She had what she would always call very dangly lips. And sometimes she would plop down because we had a couch but the couch was made of the same material that your fucking your desk and chair in high school were made out of because we, we didn't like to have uh, any type of cushions so we had kind of like a wooden couch and, oh. and then she would plop down on it like that and she would sit on each lip and she would scream oh, yeah that's God. why she had to have underwear well, luckily, my lips aren't that big. Oh, hers <laughs> so, were. Wow. Well, hers were big. One time I came in and Lamar was standing over her and he fucking was standing behind him, lifting him up like this. Like, chip it, get in here. Check this out. He was wow. drunk. I'm like, that's my ma. Come on. What is wow. She what had labia that? plethora. <laughs> oh, looked like the fucking thing that killed Steve Irwin. Dr. Cannon, Dr. Cannon to surgery. A plethora of labia. A plethora of labia. <laughs> a Komodo dragon's tail full of pussy. Oh, wow. That's yeah. a lot. Nice packed in there. Clap yeah. away with that thing. You this like is getting that? Oh, oh, yeah. She like could a... definitely be like jump off a yeah. mountain and be yeah, like a, a in a squirrel suit like she's working <laughs> for Red Bull. Oh, uh, <laughs> looks like Fidel Castro eating a steak. Em. <laughs> <laughs> looks like um, it looks like a paper plane that you make but it has like a bunch of hair and fucking stink on it. <laughs> it looks like a, it looks, it looks like a St. Bernard looking out the back window on the highway. <laughs> it looks like a fucking banana oh. that you put like an M80 in and it took like oh. fucking dog hair and mushed it on there. Oh. And then fucking went here, look. It that looks like you chewed an entire big buddy bubblegum stick and spit it on a barbershop floor. <laughs> it Hair looks and like pink is all I'm thinking. The underside of a seagull that you fed Alka-Seltzer to. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like the horse that Leo slept in in The Revenant. <laughs> Wait, no, it looks like oh. it, it looks like uh the, uh, wait, what's that? Oh, what's that thing Jesus of uh, two pieces of uh, bread with cherry sauce? <laughs> <laughs> cherry sauce. Yeah, you see that all the yeah. time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, those lights behind Anthony. How many fucking guys keep thinking they're UFOs? It's driving me fucking crazy. Plenty of people. I take pictures of them. I tell them it's UFO. You could probably throw that hat you got up in the air and make some money selling <laughs> UFO pictures. I probably could, right? Oh. Hey, 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 non fungible. But, you know, whatever. Get <laughs> yeah, you know, we laugh about it, but there's all these fucking videos of these like little triangles coming out of like. I saw knee. that one. It's a blurry picture of a raindrop and a plane light or something. Stop. You don't Everyone's believe it's got Anthony? a camera. Everyone has a camera these days, and we still haven't gotten one really clear picture of you or video, stuff. right? It's all or fucking video. Yeah. pictures. Who yeah, sees a UFO and goes, get my flash, hun. You just take <laughs> yeah. the video camera. <laughs> Dig up the Polaroid from the attic. That's yeah, there's a UFO, babe. Why. I need this moment. Foot, 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 foot. All of them were fake back in the 60s. All those yeah. pictures. Was N Nessie fake. was real. No, a doctor came forward many years later on his deathbed and said that he had staged that whole thing. 
Yeah, the surgeon, the surgeon's photo they said was fake. The surgeon, the sturgeon's photo was a fish he took. Oh, the sturgeon, he was a fucking biker, rock and roll uh, all night <laughs> and party throughout the day. Throughout the day. I like every day better because it's every day. You're just partying for one day. No, I'm not. Throughout, though. <laughs> throughout the whole day, but <laughs> yeah. I'm partying every day. But yeah, you're also and- taking naps during those days. That's right, babe. He's sleeping. <laughs> I do nap. Yeah, that I party count. throughout the day. The whole day. You ever been in a band, Aaron? Uh, no, I played the violin for the a village bit. people. <laughs> Fruit. <laughs> all the time. I always go. You're ruining my heart on. Just keep sucking. <laughs> so, like, you played the violin when you were a kid? Did you really? Yeah. Let me ask you something. What's your favorite song? <laughs> I, I to feel play like on? you cracked it like Lenny from Mice and Men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh, pretty strings. Fucking candy came in. <laughs> hey, don't pet the old dog. And then fucking the guy with the little vest lean on the glove, the little fella. <laughs> favorite song was uh, Chopsticks to play I, on a violin. I don't know that one. Were you a good violinist? I thought that was no. a strictly piano song. <laughs> Yo, my favorite. Oh, that's terrible. How about fucking Devo? And they're all playing violin. I was like, I gotta get me one of them. They yeah. do that on Whip It. Yeah. Yo. Electric. Same in yeah. Revenge of the Nerds too. That's maybe when what I'm thinking of. Big pep rally. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then remember, they all rape that guy. <laughs> yeah, and the girl in the bouncy house. <laughs> yeah. And the fucking uh, <laughs> and fucking it was a different time. Yeah, the girl in the bouncy house. He just goes down on her for forty minutes, comes up, and she's like, "You're not my boyfriend." Get the Star Wars mask on. How do you lick through a Veda mask? <laughs> I tell you, one time I got my fucking hiney tickled in an Ewok costume. Labia, I'm your father. <laughs> an Ewok costume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just dress like a fuck. I... <laughs> More Ewok. So you don't tell him we say this stuff. I don't. <laughs> oh, I no. constantly like make light of that boy. And isn't that ironic? <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor little fella right now. He's fucking he's rubbing fucking pizza sauce off his lips. Staring into the fucking staring into a wrestling toy collection. <laughs> Holy shit. He's like oh. I want to have him on again. Uh, Let's make it happen, Zia. Sounds good. We want to have Chip on. It's Eric Nagel, too. Anytime, babe. You know that. I'm down to do that whenever you want. We love that. But, babe, seriously, if you ever need to talk, I will. I will. I'll listen. I'm so lucky. See, I don't even need to pay for therapy. I have Chip. He doesn't treat you right. He doesn't understand what he has with you, how lucky he is. You understand, though, right, Chip? That's right. I'm a good friend. I'll show you what a real friendship could be like. That's what I need. Good, good, true, honest guy friends. That's right. I'll just I'll be good. Co- <laughs> honest guy friends. Spend time Chip, with did you. you ever, did you ever spend all night talking to a girl like that and think it was going to lead to something? <laughs> yeah. Naively thinking it was going to lead to something. She was crying because her boyfriend had done out and like, I forget what he had done. Her boyfriend had done something like, I think like she was dating him for like three weeks. Fucked her well. (laughs) Yeah, he did do that because I was like, what are you riding a horse or something? She's like, I don't want to talk right now. I'm crying. So we sat down on a log and I'm talking to her and I'm like, what did he do, babe? What did he do? And apparently her grandfather had gotten a check in the mail or something. So this guy hit her grandfather in the head with a spade (laughs) shovel and took the money and went to gamble. So I was holding her hand and comforting her while she cried. And I said, I could show you what a relationship is like. Oh, what did she say? That sounds like a good. uh, You're the best friend I ever had. (laughs) Best friend. And I kissed her. I kissed her hand. But then she wiped it on her pants because I didn't know I had dried spittle. <laughs> Get the little yeah, white stuff like, on the sides. Yeah, psycho, I was drug, a lot. psycho drug crust on the sides. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't know that I had the white stuff. With every word, there was like 17, 18 strands like that. And it smelled like dried milk, she told me. Why were you just talking about money? 
Yeah, I was, no, I was talking about <laughs> us. My mouth got dry, Mike. I don't know what oh. happened. I get dry when I get emotional. I, I, you're not alone, Chip. Look, we were all young once, and I do remember a time when I was uh, sitting and talking to a girl in a in a cemetery, man, and oh. and I thought I oh, thought she was dead. <laughs> I you're wish. Nana. After we all fucking... miss you. The whole family, each and every one of us. Man. Exactly. And then he came on the headstone. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Oh. No one's gonna believe you. Apparently, she had no clue it was a headstone. I got nothing. <laughs> you fucking, fucking tease. Fuck that tease. That mug. <laughs> She's like, yes. So I thought, I thought I was gonna kind of get something going by being the sensitive guy that yeah. understands her. What a jack off. Why? What just said, Let's fuck in the crypt. <laughs> now I say that at my house. That's my, that's my come online. Yeah, it's actually less creepier than your room. <laughs> Is that what you do in your off time uh, on Tales of the Crypt? Pump your ass full of embalming fluid. <laughs> yeah, what are you drinking? Ass. That's not alcohol, is it? No, 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 Chip. Just oh. water. Just water. Just a little picture, buble. I was, I was picturing Anthony's the room like the cat, like the guy from Seven with all the air fresheners hanging yes, from the ceiling. Hanging down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, you never know what's going to happen in there. Speaking like a mug. Yeah. <laughs> Marble notebooks with perfect handwriting everywhere. Yeah, I've been the, I've been the good friend, though. Oh, That's what I would be, Zia. I would be a good friend because I don't I mean to. I hate that. Sometimes I'll, I'll call Zia at 2 in the morning. I'll be like, where is he? I'll be like, he's sleeping. I'm like. I would be a good friend. Yeah, yeah. The, if I was there or if I was him, I would. Oh, if dude. I was there, I wouldn't be sleeping. I would just be telling you how special you are. All the way till two in the morning, Chip. That's right. Gosh, what, what a lucky guys girl. don't realize that will never, ever work. Yep. They're playing the long game, Aunt. They're going to uh, put him. If I would, you know, what a. Oh, I don't want to say anything bad about him, but I got to be honest. If I was. If I was him, I would be right there with you. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Don't say anything grandma, bad. His money oh, back. no, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, that's the thing. I see. I've made the mistake. I'm like, babe, if you give the OK, I'll kill him. Oh, that took a turn. <laughs> I'm like, babe, I'll throw a few brewskis down my throat, and get in a car and kill him. <laughs> she never called me back guy. after that. Through the living room. <laughs> How did you try to do it? Did you did you actually get they like, kill someone? Chip? Nah, but I was drunk okay. and I started crying uh, and I was just like, hold my hand. And like, I think it was like the first time we'd ever hung out. And she was like, just wanted a friendship. Uh, and I was in like, the restaurant. Hold my hand, dude, dude, I was like, hold my hand. Yeah, yeah, hold my hand, man. I was like, <laughs> babe, hold my hand. You know, nobody understands. Sometimes I'll say this. Hand. Let me ask you something. Would this turn you off on a first date? If a guy went like this, first I would do the, the check <sighs> and make sure that it didn't fucking smell. And then I put my nose right up to a girl's and I go, don't hurt me. I've been hurt before. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that paints you as oh, a really sensitive that. guy. Girls love that. <laughs> they do. Oh, no. They do, right, babe? Yeah, before. yeah. Girls like a sensitive guy <laughs> that's yeah. been hurt before. That's like right after you come too quick. You're like, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm like, I haven't touched another. I haven't touched another oh. person in a long time. <laughs> the feeling of your skin just made me shoot. <laughs> you ever have that happen? One time I came while I was just caressing a girl's face. It was fucking embarrassing. <laughs> Oh, no. One, yeah. one time I uh, slept with this girl in the back of my car, but I came immediately and I pretended oh. I got a leg cramp. And so she thinks we just stopped, but oh, I actually good. came. Did you yeah. say I got a leg cramp with cum all over it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, what did you tell her? I got a fucking I got a leg cramp and there's a little mauvish toothpaste all over your leg. <laughs> Something's wrong with your car, lady. There's cum all over my leg. I was I, I wore a condom, but it was hanging like it a, boo, yeah. you lost me. Boo. Like, like the Grinch's oh. hat. <laughs> there was there was uh one time I was up at a cabin upstate New York and this uh, girl I was with, she uh what exit? It was Kathy um, Bates. It was up and yeah, it was. She hobbled me. It was great. <laughs> she hobbled my ball. Uh no, she 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 was uh what they call it. 
Ooh. And and uh, so Ooh. I was just like I was all psyched. I wanted to I wanted to make this the greatest experience and everything. But she held back for like the two Friday and Saturday of the weekend and stuff. Yeah, yeah, like working Sunday, for day. the weekend. And, exactly. <laughs> and I was so like worked up over the whole weekend that by the time she actually gave me the go ahead, it was just like instantaneous. It was oh. like literally a second. <laughs> And then I, I, I was like, that's what she's going to think. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's what, exactly. <laughs> oh, she's going to be like, oh, my God, this guy lasted for a minute. He's like yeah. a champ. Yeah. The next guy, you know, probably the next night. This is what sex is going to be. Yeah. Some greasy guy with hair like Boom Boom Washington who looks at me for one second and then rolls over. <laughs> A young, a young Tony with his perm. Oh, I had my giant fro. Oh, I was ready. I was ready for action. That's when I had body hair. Who's ready to get tin knocked? Yeah. Oh, this was before my tin knocking days. I'm talking, uh, you know, 17. Oh, babe, oh, well, I, you said virgin. I thought you meant last week. Sorry. Yeah. Well, that too. Yeah. It's consensual stuff. Let me ask you something. Is your body still all smooth and weird feeling like a robot? Oh, but that's how they said it in the Twilight Zone. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my robot. It's yeah, a robot. It's a robot. Yeah, I still have no no hair on my yeah. arms. Fucking glass armed uh, sock cucker. It's <laughs> terrible. I well, I, I go for another shot tomorrow. Oh. I of course was diagnosed. With right under here feet. is where I would suggest it. Oh. Tony Smooth Arms. <laughs> Different from Jim Norton, who has low T cells. I, I was diagnosed with yeah. low T. And when it's time for him to get a shot, he goes, go ahead, like a clown at the fucking carnival. <laughs> a balloon on his head blows up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I go for another shot tomorrow, but it's uh, it's 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 life changing. I got to oh. tell you, it's pretty good. Is it helping you? <clears throat> I'm kind of back to being the piece of shit I was a few years ago. Oh, wow. Okay. I Tee just shot. look and I'm like, oh, this is nice. It's, you know, I look, I go, oh, that's attractive. I kind of, it was What's like this? a dimmer. It's like you a know? dimmer was shutting off for a while. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it switched, it switched back on. And then someone tells you you have to leave the playground. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> that's really fucked the worst up. part of the whole thing. That's happened to me. I'm, I like, wasn't I'm even... a taxpayer. I pay the taxes for this school. <laughs> Anthony's just fired up on T showing the kids how he can go down the slide alone. Yes. yes. <laughs> I can Your push the swing have... harder now. <laughs> yeah. Your mom would have a hard time going down the slide chip with her uh, labia. Yes, yeah, she. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, God. It made oh, a it rubbery was... noise. It sounded like a fucking. Oh, God. Sounded like an 18 wheeler skidding in a mall. <laughs> Oh, she literally blew a tire. <laughs> oh, I bet. Yeah, I got oh. thrown out of a fucking playground one time. I was fucking passing out pills. I'm like, well, if you need to buy any more of these, you know where to get them. What kind of pills? Just fucking like Molly and whatnot. Molly? <laughs> kids? Yep. Get them started young. Then they fucking know where to come make a purchase. I'm a fucking cake for the chip. Oh, oh no. fuck. Oh, we get oh. fucking slam poetry and this. <laughs> Great. Good. That was horrifying. It was terrible, right? Sorry. All right, now. Cut that part money. out. It happens every fucking time. Whenever I talk about moolah. Cake. A taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, well, listen. <laughs> We got us. We got her. This was a fun one. God, oh my God, damn. so much fun. So listen, and how's your show going? And what's it? Who's coming up on the program? And what's happening? Do you like being by yourself? Are you lonely? I uh, I like being by myself. I've always been able to do a show by myself. I enjoy it. But I have uh, every Monday, uh, Nick DiPaolo comes on with me. And we do a show. And then every Wednesday, Gavin McInnes comes in. Okay. Do a show. So I have kind of alternating, rotating cast of characters as co-hosts. Uh, today, I had the great Pat Dixon in. Um, Wait. Just, uh, hold yeah, on. Uh, that uh, name. Uh, 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 that name. Uh, yeah. Say it again. Pat Dixon. Imagine if his last name was T.O. Furniture. 
Pat to your furniture. See, I wasn't going that way. I swear I wasn't going that way. Nope. I was thinking Pat dicks out, but. Oh, no, that's vulgar, that's babe. Vulgar. I don't go the cheap <laughs> route. Oh, my ears funny? are not garbage cans. <laughs> Isn't that funny that, that people's names used to come from what they did for a living? <laughs> like Cooper and, you know, Barber and then Dixon. <laughs> and fucking you know. son, which means it has, Chippa, you know, I'm not a sad son. I'm not a mad son. I'm not a glad son. I'm just a son. <laughs> I remember that song. Huh? Thanks. It Catch haunted you one. me for a weekend. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, but uh, we're doing these comedy shows, the Comedians of the Compound, right. which is so much fun. Aaron's uh, booking these things, and, and we have them all over the country. Uh, going to, uh, where are we going? Cleveland? Austin, Cleveland. Austin, Texas. Oh, we're going to be in Austin on the uh, 14th and 15th of May. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, yeah. That's right. When are we doing Roga? What night are we doing fucking well, Joe's I'm, show? I'm, I'm, I'm doing Joe Rogan's show on May 13th. And uh, I don't know. I know you want to join me, Chip. But he'd love uh, it. He'll go crazy. It'll be the craziest well, thing he he's ever would. seen. <laughs> he probably would go crazy. Trust me, I'll be in there. I'll be like, what are we on a fucking spaceship or something? Uh, uh, it's like, why don't you ring some kettlebells? Yeah, I'll be like the fucking. I'll be like, what do you look like? You've been lifting, you know? Believe me, I'm gonna go in there and just break his stones. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love you, Chip. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. <laughs> He'd love this shirt. I'll be like, go ahead, Joe. Fucking promote it. <laughs> <laughs> promote it to your millions of listeners. Yo, fuck it. Do an IG. Go ahead. My permission. Yeah. My permission. <laughs> your shirt's going to be the next Tim Dillon. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> fucking Tim Dillon. Believe me, his time has come. I'm going to start going on that show and pushing Tim aside. You're more talented. Everybody knows it. Believe me, oh. I've been saying that to Tim. I've been emailing him. <laughs> You've been emailing him? Does he respond? <laughs> no, I must have the wrong. I just put Tim Dillon at Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 12-year-old boy him. named Tim. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's getting all these emails. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. So we're doing Rogan on the 13th and the 14th and the 15th of May. You're down there in Austin. What place you doing? What joint? We're doing the Vulcan, uh, what is it called? Oh, fucking uh, Mr. Spock. Fucking uh, uh, living, uh, live long for prospering. Live long and prosper, I believe, was the phrase of the Vulcan, uh, the greeting. Uh, and the uh, goodbye, like aloha, aloha. Yo, ah, peace. Right? Means both, yeah. Both? It's kind of yeah. silly. Aloha is just, <laughs> aloha is a bunch of things, actually. No. It's, hello, it's goodbye. It's a spirit. <laughs> really? Yeah, me, like the spirit does. of Aloha. Yeah. Hello, goodbye. And it's I like know Italian, that, like forget about it. Yeah, right. kind of like that. Yeah. Oh, Aloha. Oh no, your roid is bleeding. Yeah. Aloha. <laughs> aloha. <laughs> oh, this fucking Aloha. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yeah. All right. It's so compound media. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> compound media for fucking Anthony and all of his funny guests and whatnot. What other shows you got? Of course, you got fucking Arrow and Aaron and Geno. Aaron and Gino do In Hot Water, which is just a a, a hit show. People love yep. this. I don't know why. There's a lot of debauchery and uh, stuff that I personally don't agree with. My religion uh, does not jibe with their program, but a lot of people seem to like it. That's right. Somebody time- actually. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead, babe. Go ahead. I, I was just going to ask. Go ahead. I was just going to say someone actually told me that I needed to congratulate Aaron on coming out. Oh. Somebody Wait, actually took the time out to message that to me. What <laughs> happened? Like, okay. What did you was do? It Anthony? No, <laughs> no, it wasn't, it wasn't Anthony. No, it was uh, Frank Sheckler. Oh, yeah. He yeah. Always says, okay. oh, yep. oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> he sleeps with trans people, so he uh, likes oh. to call other people gay. I well, does he that? really? Yeah. I knew. Oh, I mean, that's terrible. Oh, <laughs> oh never in this house. <laughs> No. I'm a huge fan of no, his. No. He's hilarious. Yeah, he's yeah. funny. He uh, messaged me to tell you I needed to congratulate you on coming out. So congratulations, Thank you. Aaron. Thank you <laughs> yeah, very much. congratulations. Yeah. Aloha. It's just jealousy for how much of a man Aaron is. That's I'm right. Man, so we have to make it seem like, oh, look at this guy. Oh, he must be gay or something. Because, you know, we all look and go, ah, he's more of a man. 
Because yeah. he takes care of his body. You can tell he works out, you know? Oh. Yeah, I've been, it's what I got to do, yeah, babe. Look it's the pandemic. An eye. <laughs> look who's been keeping an eye on Aaron Berg this year. What? What? Mike <laughs> Kennedy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tired. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Don't do no that. No test either, Aunt. Zero. Really? Yeah, just the guys that blow in the steam. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, is that good that's, for testosterone? That's good, good news for somebody yeah. I know. That right is, from the tap. That's like pure. Guinness. That's pure <laughs> marital rage. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't pump iron, I'm gonna punch someone in the face. <laughs> so, Aaron, what's your web page or whatnot, or your GeoCity site, so people could go and figure Geo out where to see you? You go to uh, Yelp.org and uh, type in Ehrenberg slash Chinese restaurant. Also, uh, yeah, in hot water, Monday to Thursday, compoundmedia.com, Ehrenberg.com, and on Twitter at Ehrenberg Comedy and Instagram at Ehrenberg Comedy. Okay. And how about you, Mike Cannon, firing on all cylinders, a favorite of Chippison's? <laughs> Thanks, pal. I love doing the show. I'm a, you're my hero, to be perfectly honest. But um, MikeCannonComedy.com for dates uh, at I am Mike Cannon social media and then uh, my YouTube. I'm putting a bunch of stuff on there. I just did a workout with some dude who uh, is playing three on three basketball for the USA in Tokyo for the Olympics. So I just worked out with him and uh, man, Chip, you wouldn't believe you wouldn't believe how good this guy is. And how yeah, I would believe me. I used I to do <laughs> curls with Larry Bird. What? <laughs> I did curls with Larry Bird. Oh, in French what? lick. Yeah, no, no, and I didn't do squats <laughs> with magic. I know that's what your next question is. <laughs> so where can people see you, Mike Cannon, firing on all cylinders? Uh, yeah, I'm at, I'm at Uncle Vinny's in May, and I'm at uh, I'm in Laugh It Up in June. I have uh, Austin in September. I'm doing that Vulcan Gas Company too. That's exciting. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm locking down a bunch of stuff now. So awesome, Mike Cannon man. Comedy. Doug. All right, cool. So you're gonna be on Rogan what night? <laughs> yeah, uh, right before I go on. All right. <laughs> cool, because me and Ann are doing it the 13th. Put in a good word for me. Yeah, Wait till man. Joey R. Here's the fucking jokes I got. <laughs> oh, I bet he'll love him. Dude, he's going to go fucking crazy. That's I'm going to sit there. I'm going to go, hey, look, your oregano's burning. You know, he's uh, up. I'm sure Spotify is going, they're going to go, we need to get this guy. Give oh. him 100 million. We need to get this guy, Chip. Trust oh, me, I, I'm going to start promoting gonna, that. I thought they were going to censor him because he's too edgy. Oh, that could happen too. Yeah. I didn't even think about that, Chip. You're very edgy with your stories and whatnot. So. I'm going to say something like, uh, I'm going to say, here's a five, there's a five, Spotify. And we're going to laugh about it, but it's going to be like a promotion. <laughs> God. As soon as Actually, they hear that, they're going to want you. On That's Madison right. Avenue with that kind of fucking humor. They're going to love it. Wait till I do the spaceship jokes. Hey, what are we flying? Uh, what are we in like a fucking uh, time warp or something? You know, but I've got a whole bunch of them. I'm going to hit Rogan with. Good one. He's going to go crazy. Mike, I'd love to get you on the program. You yeah, can't absolutely. though. Joe books yeah. it. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't mean Joe. <laughs> don't try to bring him on Rogan. I'm going on with you. I know. I don't want to cock block you, Chip. Yeah. I meant, I meant my show on company. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do That's it. What I yeah. Meant. Wait till I get, wait till me and you walk in. He's going to go fucking crazy. Oh, he will. I'm yeah. positive of it. That, yeah. Like, He'll treat you like one of the elk. <laughs> Chip's, Chip's going to get sniped out by a yeah, fucking green like, beret. Or he's going to choke him out. A... No, but I'm going to walk in there, right? I already got it. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to walk in. I'm going to go, Joey, and I'm going to have two Q-tips coming out of my nose. I'm going to be like, I'm oh. tested all the time, buckaroo. Oh, Q-tips are going to show him that, or are you <laughs> yeah. going to give him the Q-tips? Oh, well, he'll know. It's a COVID <laughs> test. He's going to go you nuts. Do the Why don't you do it like they do in China? Yeah. Come in with them up your ass. If you think he would laugh, I would do that. He would probably laugh. At that. I would. Believe Actually, me, I'm going to come in there. Would. I'm going to break his stones like crazy. <laughs> break his stones. Bust his chops. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Balls. Breaking chops. <laughs> oh, I forgot about breaking chops. Yeah. So many things over the years that Chip has just inspired. So much popular culture. Zia, let me ask you something. Now, we flirted. We told a few lies. But all kidding aside, I'm here for you. What do you want to promote? 
Uh, thanks, Chip. I appreciate it. Uh, if anybody wants to check out my Twitch channel, it's twitch.tv slash Zealand. I stream uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. You can also check out It's Eric Nagel uh, live, twitch.tv slash It's Eric Nagel, Thursdays at 7. There's also anywhere you find podcasts after that. And if you want to follow me on social media, it's at Zia underscore land on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, so I see pics on the uh, on your social media, young lady. Just, Wait just a, a little minute. Bit. Um, racy pics. Just, just a little. Wait, which one? I didn't see it. Which one? Which one? I didn't see it. Which one? She's wearing, um, she's wearing like little shorts. And yeah, she's like, kind of like, look at my ass. (laughs) Like no one stands like that for a camera. It's like you're kind of backwards and you're going, hey, chick. Oh, oh, yeah, the one today. I might bring the long blue hair back. Meanwhile, she's in fishnets. Purple, (laughs) thank you, Mike. Purple, thank you very much. Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, Oh, look, look, look at at my new glasses. We all know what we're here Remember, for. Remember, <laughs> I'll be playing Street Fighter in 10 minutes. <laughs> Aaron, that only works if my boobs are as big as yours. Unfortunately, they're oh, not. Oh, shit, those are called yeah. X. Wait a minute. Oh, hi. Hey. Look at, hey. I got fucking good taste in shirts. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Uh-oh. Fuck yeah, let's go. All right. Right back to where we belong. That's better. That's better. It was Volga anyway. If you moved, it was going to mess it up. Tight. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm sorry, babe. They would have seen you run the That's pain. a cool shot of you there, Chip, with the it red hat cool. behind you. You look like Channing Tatum. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Looks like Carol Channing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking. You look like fucking uh, Tatum Bell and Sid. What's her name? O'Neal. Tatum O'Neal. <laughs> O'Neal. <laughs> you look like Tater Tots. Oh, oh, yeah, you do. You did. You, you look, look like, like retards. Yeah, you fucking walk like Jack Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Oakland Raiders humor. Tatum hardly knew him. Oh, wait, no. Ah, fuck. This I is fucked it up. crazy now. I fucked it up. I'm sorry. Jack Tatum isn't the one who's paralyzed. <laughs> Which one is paralyzed? Daryl Stingley. Oh. oh, that doesn't even fit. <laughs> you got a Stingley. Don't fit with the Tate thing we were doing. No. Mr. Tate from Bewitched. No, it's just wrecked it. Oh, no. Could have made a joke about that, right? Master Tate. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. All right, babe, this doesn't embarrass you, does it? No, Chip, I've posted those before, too. <laughs> oh, that's true. You did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to move because their underpants are showing and I don't want anybody to see that. That's vulgar for the show. It's I don't vulgar. Wanna... For... Yeah. It's like oh like if God. you see like, right. Like, OK, oh. yeah. Say, I yeah, say thank God. All that crimson sauce in between the legs. <laughs> oh my oh, God. Oh, that's not very nice. But honestly, that's probably on my picture because I had a fucking nose drip. <laughs> I was reading it and I fucking was like zoned really? out for too long and I banged my head on the fucking table and then it fucking dripped onto the picture. <laughs> oh, I was no. bleeding. Reading it. Yeah, baby. It every, me. Reading every it. Story <laughs> is tragic. <laughs> every story. It's moved All on right. from pets to people. I know, babe. We got to fucking. Oh, right, listen, this is getting too crazy. We got to cut this. I should. I don't want to just be a fucking a merch horse. So let's just wrap this up. OK, <laughs> forget the pot stuff. OK, let's just wrap this up. Uh, Mike Cannon, give us a number and we're going to wrap up the Chipperson show. I see what can people see? We didn't plug you. I'm sorry, babe. No, we did chip. You're so you're so great. You remember we did. We chipped. I plugged. I chipped. <laughs> I chipped. I chipped <laughs> plug. Yeah. I say where it's good. How about two? <laughs> oh, you are the greatest guest <laughs> two? that's ever been on the Chip Chip. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's start. We're going to count down oh and we're going to do it. We're not going to start from 10 or 9. <laughs> we ain't going to start from 8 or 7. It's Forget a no scenario. Six. It's the Kobayashi yes. Maru. Forget five <laughs> Chippersons. We're not going to do four Chippersons. We're not going to do three Chippersons. We're going to do two, <laughs> two one. one. Chippy, Chippy Kai, Kai. Kai. Father Muggers, Zia, Tony, Aaron, and Mike. Chipperson loves you and thanks you. Thank you, Chip. Thank See you. y'all soon. Bye, Peace. Chip.